reason why we, we believe people think it's it's a weird concept is just because it's unfamiliar. It's not a standard practice in this space. I, I would say that uh, 70, 80 percent of pets, especially in urban and suburban areas, are cremated today. And the, the challenge, cremation has some benefits, but the main one of the big challenges with cremation is the um, the amount of uh, energy that's needed to heat the ovens. Our system basically uses no energy. It's we use the natural science um, of composting to to heat and break down the um, the animal. So there's a massive savings in energy that's used in in our system. And then the other real big benefit that we're seeing is that we're putting a lot of meaning back into this um, this life uh, event. It's a very negative and somber and um, challenging time for most pet parents. So with our with, with composting, it actually adds a lot more meaning back into that process and that it takes some time. It gives our, our clients time to grieve and to figure out you know what they want to do with the compost. In cremation, you're putting your pet in an oven and all the soft tissue is is basically burning off. You're, you're incinerating the pet. We're taking all the soft tissue and putting it back into the earth. So it's much more meaningful. You know, we're not wasting the pet. We're not burning it off. We're returning it to the to the earth. You know, from where it came. There's some challenges with burying your pet in the backyard, and and I can explain how we're different. So w when you bury a pet in the backyard, some of the challenges are number one, we've seen some studies that you know somewhere in the realm of 50% of the time when people bury their pet in their backyard, it actually isn't done correctly. It's not done deep enough. It's not done in the correct soil. Um, and um, the pet can get dug up by other animals, um, you know, a raccoon or a, you know, a, some other animals roaming in nature. So that's that's the problem. Increasingly, just increasingly, urban and suburban uh, areas don't allow you to bury in your backyard. So it's you're, you know you're breaking the law potentially. And then secondly, the when you bury a pet in the backyard, it breaks down naturally, but the, the, the body, the elements, the things that are breaking down, the nutrients become mobile. So basically they can get into the groundwater, they can contaminate the, the soil. Uh, if the pet was um, euthanized, the drugs can, that, that they use for euthanization can, um, you know, again, can leach in the ground. So th those are some of the problems. Composting is basically the science of balancing uh, carbon and nitrogen. And we're basically taking all the, the nutrients in the pet and, and immobilizing them in the, the carbon source in the wood chip so it's a it's a best practice it's been done on uh, farms you know like dairy farms and chicken ranches for for many many years composting is, is just a standard practice and so it's there's there's regulations there's accountability and it's um, you know again it's the correct way to handle a mortality uh, in, in our case a pet